So in December last year, I wrote on my blog about houseplants in my basement suite in my bedroom window. Um, I thought I'd do a little update to show you what's still happy. These Fetonia are still happy, although they're much happier now in these globes than they were in uh, terracotta. This is a fern from my bathroom window that's not happy. Um, they get a lot of air from the vent on them and it's just been too dry. This is pancake plants. They've always been happy down here. Like, I think I've given away 10 and they all start down here. Um, this little peperomia, I'm not sure what variety, is pretty happy down here. Um, he only had like four leaves and one stem when I brought him home. This uh, string of hearts I started from cuttings a few months ago and it's not grown a ton but it is growing. This uh, Hoya that my friend gave to me, um, all of the white leaves are new. It only had the two green leaves when I brought it home. This, oops, gosh, okay. This Pothos is also happy down here. I started him from a cutting last year. He has one new leaf back here. Um, this is a cutting from my silver nickel line outside and it's got quite a long root there. I should probably pot him up one day. Obviously these snake plants are happy because snake plants will grow anywhere and don't care. This guy, again, Fetonia is super happy. My Hindu rope is not happy, as you can see, it is dead, but I don't know if that's from being down here. It had mealybugs, and I didn't realize it, and then I went after them really hard with uh, Q-tip and rubbing alcohol, and it just went downhill after that, so it's not happy. Then we have this. So this is my ZZ plant. When I brought him home last year, I think he was about this tall. So all of that is new. These are new. I gave him a new pot recently because he was bursting. And he literally gets this IKEA LED and this IKEA LED. And that's it. Like he is totally fine. And in this corner of my room that he's in, like there's this window up here and there's that window up there. That's a north window. This is a west window. This window gets sun for about 20 minutes in the afternoon. And this is like the darkest corner in the bedroom. So other than the lamplight, he gets nothing and he is thrilled. So anyways, yeah. Snake plants, Fetonia, some Peperomia, pancake plants, some Hoyas. They'll do good in basement windows. So even if you live in a basement suite, oh, and this ZZ plant. Even if you live in a basement suite, you can still have houseplants. Hopefully I will get around to writing a new blog about my basement suite houseplants soon. Oh, and in this window, in that Stella cup, I do have a Marimo moss ball and he literally gets like no light there because that window is under a deck. And I've had it for a year, that moss ball, and he's still happy. So moss balls also do well in low light rooms. Anyway, hopefully I'll write a blog about all these happy basement plants someday soon.